Welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. In today's video, we'll introduce you to the library's website. The library's website is your starting point for all of your research and information needs. This ranges from basic facts about the library and our services to finding scholarly resources for your assignments and much more. You can find our site at www.loyalistlibrary.com. You can see right away that there's lots of different kinds of information and lots of different links, so let's take a closer look at some of them. The tabs along the top organize information and resources into broad subject areas. Library services, tools for research, access to different collections purchased by the library, and more. Each tab opens a drop-down menu that you can use to look for more specific information. For example, if we hover over the Library Services tab, we see a list of the different services offered by the library. You can click on any one of these and be directed to a new page with more details about that service. Or, if we hover over the Collections tab, we see a list of the different kinds of resources purchased by the library. You can click on any one of these to look at them in more detail. Take some time to explore the different tabs and see what we have to offer. Scrolling down the page, we see several buttons and a search box. This search box is Catalyst, the library's discovery tool. You can use Catalyst to look for information in the different collections purchased by the library, including the books and DVDs on our shelves and the electronic content in our databases, including journal and news articles, ebooks, streaming video, and more. To learn more about using Catalyst to look for information, watch our basic search video. You'll see that there's also a PDF copy of our Quick Start Guide to Searching with Catalyst. There are also multiple buttons on the page. You might have noticed that many of them have the same names as the tabs at the top of the screen. That's because these buttons will take you to the same information that you can find using the tabs. We've just given you more than one way to get there. One of the most important buttons is the My Account button, located in the top row on the right side. If you click this button, you'll be prompted to sign in to your library account. Your library login is the same as your My Loyalist login. Once you've signed in, you can view your library account. You can see what items you have on loan, view any fines or fees, and check on any outstanding requests that you've made. You can also renew any items that you have on loan, provided that they're not overdue, haven't already been renewed once before, and provided that the item hasn't been requested by another student. Signing in is also very important when you're working off campus. Signing in when you're working off campus ensures that you'll be able to access electronic content like the full text of articles and ebooks, stream videos, and more. It also allows you to access all of the features in Catalyst. You can learn more about these features in our basic search video. Some of the buttons will also take you to specific collections. For example, the eResources button will take you to a list of all of the different databases purchased by the library. A database is a searchable collection of information. In a library, a database is where you'll find electronic content, like journal and news articles, reports, stream videos, ebooks, and more. Clicking on the eResources button opens a list of all of the different databases purchased by the library. At the top, you'll see drop-down menus that allow you to sort these by broad subject area or by the format of the resource. The majority of these collections are searched with Catalyst, but it can be helpful to search just one database if you're focused on a very specific subject area or on a specific kind of resource. Each database has a brief description so you'll know what kind of content the database has. Next to the eResources button, you'll see a button for our stream video collections. This will take you to a page that lists all of the streaming video collections purchased by the library. The majority of these are searched with Catalyst, but we've given you the option to explore each streaming service on its own. Like the other databases, each has a brief description, so you'll know what kind of content is in each streaming collection. Some of the streaming services, like Canopy, do require a free account. If they do, this information will be included in the description. Below this is the Journal Locator. This tool allows you to search for journals, sometimes called periodicals, by title or keyword. This can be helpful if you want to focus on content in one specific journal or subject area. Finally, we have the Research Guides button. This button opens a list of all of the electronic research guides created by the library. These guides group together a selection of library resources related to either a college program or a specific topic. 
find the guide for your program on this list and take some time to explore. To the left, we have buttons that will direct you to more information about some of the more popular library services, including copyright, help with writing, citing, and citations, library policies and rules, and more. And that's it. Now you know the basics of navigating around the library's website. Take some time to explore, and if you have questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.